hello libra welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today this is going to be for libra sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles guys i could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and libra does not fit for your situation okay so i just want to say libra thank you guys for being patient with me um, i'm going through a transition in my life as well transformative time for me so i just want to thank you all so 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 much for being patient but i am back with your readings so let's see what's going on with you guys libra what's going on for libra spirit sun moon rising venus north node messages for libra what could they be expecting what's going on with them how are they feeling what's the tea what's going on for libra let's see <clears throat> bottom of the deck we have doing drugs okay so somebody around you is doing drugs really heavy okay um could be pills could be anything i'm not gonna go over all the drug names you guys know what kind of drugs possibly <laughs> um so that's that so let's see somebody could have a really bad addiction somebody here could be an alcoholic as well let's see what's going on okay Okay, Libra came out a lot in Sagittarius reading, so maybe go watch Sagittarius's because this same energy is coming out. So we have marrying for money. So somebody here, some of you guys could have been married to somebody or dealing with somebody here or in a relationship with someone that uh, wanted to marry you for money and take you for everything that you got. This person has got caught cheating or you've caught this person cheating numerous of times. It says caught up, finding evidence, getting caught cheating. So this person could have been doing sexual acts for money. Okay, you could have caught them doing this here. Or you could be, you got to just have somebody in your life and your family or whatever that's that's doing this and you know about this. Or maybe you're just now knowing about it because I'm saying it, you know. So, okay. So we have rejected and then we have no facts. Never has the facts, make shit up and lies. So yeah, somebody here is just, they're, they're just all over the place. So I don't know, Libra. Then we have, yeah, happiness hater. So definitely something about a marriage. Some of you guys could be married or you were getting ready to get married to somebody. You were engaged to them or whatever. I feel like you called it off. Somebody here could have put you in a third party. So the third party could be the one that's um, getting caught cheating. So if your person chose a third party over you, they were getting ready to be with this person or they married this person. And now they ass is getting a divorce. They're being The third party is being rejected by your person or something like that. That's for somebody. That's for some of you. So you can read it that way as well. Yeah, three of pentacles, three of swords. So third party situation. A lot of you guys could be seeing three, three, three as well. So I feel like, um, you know, if it's not the, if, if it's not that case, I feel like there's somebody in your life that you're rejecting because of their nasty ass ways. You don't want to be bothered with this person, or you don't, you just don't want to have to deal with them. Whether it be somebody that you were getting ready to marry, it could be family, it could be anybody, right? So just flip it, switch it. Don't take the story if it doesn't resonate, you know. But um, let's see. Somebody here, I'm also picking up too, that somebody, you could have been, so like if you were with somebody, right, and you were trusting them to kind of like hold the house down while you, it's kind of like while you, while they go to work or whatever the case, they were, um, or while you go to work or whatever, this person is supposed to be paying the bills, or they're supposed to be doing something here to help around the house, to help build a life for you guys, and they ass was running around spending money on dumb shit or spending money on prostitutes or whatever, sex with other people. Okay, it's like they're not responsible. So they, they could have, uh, you could have gotten rejected for a loan or y'all could have could, could have gotten put out or evicted or something like that because somebody who was not, they were not doing something with the, with the finances that you were supplying them with or giving them. You know what I'm saying? Like you were helping them with something and they were taking the money and doing something else with it type shit. Yeah, the death card is over. <laughs> so, okay, what's, what's this doing drugs card for Libra? Four of Swords, eight, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. So resting, thinking, contemplating here. You could be very overwhelmed or somebody somebody could be in a rehabilitation center or they could be kind of like getting sent away to kind of like heal or do something. Somebody's drug usage could be, could be catching up to them in a way. Or there's just a lot of thinking going on on your end. You're contemplating something or you're needing to rest, maybe get more rest to feel more rejuvenated, energized. You know, I'm hearing something about getting back on track or getting like your schedule back on track or something. 
I feel like also this is giving me like you put the sword down for somebody like you really try to trust them or you really try to do you know work with them or whatever the fuck but it's just not working I feel like you could be going towards something new or someone someone new you know but what is doing drugs for Libra Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, the magician. Yeah, so you're manifesting something new. There's there's new money coming in for you guys. Your manifestations are coming true. Okay. Um Yeah, five of wands. There's something off about this though. So so obviously, so yeah, I feel like this is you. You could be dealing with the Virgo or Gemini, but this is you standing in your power, standing in your truth, seeing clearly through the bullshit. You're very powerful. You're a very powerful manifester. You have all the tools to manifest a new beginning for yourself, a new car, a new home, whatever this material wealth is that you're trying to get for yourself. You have the power to do so, but I just feel like there's people around you that are just unhealthy, whether this is somebody that you married or that you're with right now, or this could be your mom or your daddy, whoever. They're, they're just unhealthy. I feel like you're... Your life is, is, is going to be very nice, but you have people around you that are in competition or there's fighting and arguing going on around you. It's like, you don't, you don't have time for this shit here. You're trying to manifest something. So for some of you, you have to take somebody here to court. There's fights and arguing going on, maybe involving a court situation for some of you, but what is doing drugs with the magician and the ace of pentacles? One more, please, spirit. Okay, two more. That's fine. Ten of Wands with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you, you're tired. Somebody here is just tired. They're stressed. Somebody's just tired. You're having to make a lot of tough, hard decisions here, but cycles are needing to be closed with the world. So I feel like um, this is you being tired. You're, you're, you're close to burnout. You're being weighed down by a lot of the shit that's going on. There's a lot of secrets and a lot of things that, that's hidden that you just don't give a fuck about anymore. If it's hidden, it'll come to light type of thing. Like, you just don't care. You're not seeking anything anymore. You're, you're seeking your happiness, you know? With the Eight of Cups, this is you walking away from a situation or walking away from people, places, and things that are not serving your highest potential, your highest good, right? This is you walking away to really find yourself and find who you are. You look for a deeper meaning in life, Libra. So this basic shit right here with these drugs and whoever else, whatever else is going on here, it, it possibly has nothing to do with you. For some of you, I'm, I'm picking that up. Maybe it's somebody else's story, but they're in your energy with this. They need you. They're leeching off of your energy. You know what I'm saying? So this is probably could, this could possibly be somebody else's drama, but you're in it because this there's somebody that's either dealing with this that's in your energy or this is like your family or something else. You know, but I feel like this shit is weighing you down. There's a lot of responsibility and a lot of things that you're trying to do on your own, but you have these people that are weighing you down. I feel like there's the end to that because you're walking away. Just period. Ten of Wands, that's that's a ten. That's an ending and a new beginning. So if you're not fed up now, I feel like it's coming. You're going to get fed up. Just period. So there's a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things weighing you down. So let's see. What's the magician? What is this? What is Libra trying to manifest here? What's, what is this? Okay. Yeah. See what I'm saying? The judgment in reverse. Could be dealing with the Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. So automatically what I got with this is pessimism. I don't know why I got pessimism with this. So you could be being pessimistic or somebody is, but somebody's judgment is off. Somebody here made the wrong decision to do something as well. The judgment could also talk about self-doubt. It could talk about self-doubt and repeating karmic lessons. So there's something that keeps repeating. It's like somebody's judgment is off or impaired. It's like they can't think for themselves. So people need you to help them make decisions. So that's why, that's why if this isn't your energy, Libra, it's somebody else, it's because they need you. They're leeching off your energy, like I said. <laughs> They're definitely doing that. The judgment in reverse. I feel like you're trying to manifest something really nice for yourself. There's an opportunity coming in, but it's just like you're doubting it. You're doubting that it can go far or there's some type of negative pattern that you keep repeating. There could be a lot of gossip and shit going on that you just really don't give a fuck about or you don't care about. Yeah, there's there's something going on here with um hmm. the lovers. You could be dealing with the Gemini. What's this magician with the judgment in reverse? Somebody's going through karma. That's what this is. You're trying to manifest something, Libra, and I feel like um 
somebody's trying to throw you off or there's people around you that maybe they're not doing it purposely but they're definitely fucking with your judge your judgment here your decision making you being indecisive so this could be yeah the judgment could talk about being indecisive as well It's like people people around you can't make up their mind. One minute they're they're not doing the drugs and the next minute they get back on the drugs or whatever the fuck. And it's just like, I feel like you're over it. Or you don't want to be with a person like this or whatever. What's this judgment in reverse talking about, Spirit? There's a karmic lesson that keeps repeating that you need to get out of. It's time for you to move away from it. What's this? Yeah, two of swords. Indecisiveness, stalemate, indecision, stagnancy. Feeling too overwhelmed to make a decision. Being too indecisive or going back and forth between two things or a lot of things, really. Being in denial as well. I'm hearing something about being in denial. Two of swords. This is this is like trying to put the blindfolds on and act like you don't see something. But there's something deep inside of you or deep inside of someone that they need to do something about. They need to do something about their drug use or whatever. Yeah, so there, there could have been a choice between two. Maybe somebody chose someone that, that married them for money and was doing drugs or something like that or... Whatever the fuck. Let's see. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Now I want to clarify all of this here. <laughs> what's the Ace of Pentacles? Okay, yeah, two of one. So a decision again. Some of you guys can be saying two, two, two a lot. Okay. But the two of wands is trying to um is planning. There could be a new partnership arriving too or coming into your life here that's gonna bring you a lot of financial growth. But there's people around you that are not healthy for this new journey. So it's like you have to make a decision or it's, now it's time to you to make, for you to take the blindfolds off and kind of like make your decision. Okay, definitely um, you could be seeing somebody in your future or there's a, like a partnership coming in about your finances. You could be traveling for work or, or there's something that you, you see that could be coming in the future here uh, uh, material wise. It could be your money increasing. It could be a new job, a raise, a promotion. Maybe you have to travel for this. Or it could be a new home or whatever. But definitely, yeah, something is like, I don't know. Your judgment is off about something. I feel like you see something clear with the magician. That's seeing clearly. That's that's being clear. That's clarity. You see everything. You have all the tools you need to manifest something. But the decision making comes in with this person. Whoever these people are doing these drugs or whatever. You know? Yeah, so moving on. What is marrying for money for Libra? Or somebody's just in denial about their damn drug usage and you're tired of dealing with it. But because maybe you're enabling these people possibly or because they're your family or somebody that you're close to, you don't want to kind of like ab abandon them or neglect them. But it's not that. It's you moving forward. You have to do this here. Because you have to allow people to fall on their ass in order to get back up and fix themselves. You can't. You can, you know, but do it in a way where it's graceful, it's peaceful, it's respectful, you know? It's ways of doing things to, to, to kind of like um let people know that you're setting boundaries and you're not going to take the bullshit, you know? So what else for marrying for money with the six of swords? The world, the six of swords, and the eight of wands. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever this is that, that married you for money or tried to be a gold digger or whatever the fuck, they asked. The cycle is closed out with this person. This is you healing, progressing, moving forward. Okay. Um, finding that mental strength again. Finding a peaceful resolution to an issue. So a cycle here is closed out. You successfully completed a cycle or you're going to be. Okay. It's coming up. It, it's, it's a process. It's things that you have to deal with to close the cycle out. But it's in your future if it hasn't happened yet, you know. But Six of Swords, some of you guys could be relocating. You're thinking about moving or traveling. But you're definitely getting away from this hoe. Whoever it is. Whoever the hell it is. Or that's what you plan on doing. But this is finding peace. This is finding. This is healing. This is movement happening here. Eight of Wands. So there could be somebody trying to communicate with you through uh, online. Okay. Somebody could be watching you online or, or something like that. Or you could have met this person online that married you for money or whatever the fuck but i feel like this is more so you traveling you taking off um you're just going on new adventures going on a new journey eight of wands is positive shift something happening out of nowhere something happening all of a sudden yeah whatever was stagnant i feel like something is, is going to pick up finally or you're going to finally see clearly about something what's this eight of wands about spirit could be dealing with the taurus leo scorpio aquarius yeah, so nine of, one, uh, nine of swords in reverse, sorry. So this is you 
coming out of a time of feeling anxious, worried, stressed. I feel like you're releasing. You're letting this go. You're not you're not sacrificing your happiness anymore for nobody. You're not compromising this your happiness for nobody else's shit. You're going to move forward. There could be there could be with the nine of swords in reverse, eight of wands. There could be some malicious gossip. There could be shit going on online or, or or something like that about this person or this person is trying to stalk you or talk shit about you to other people online or whatever. And I feel like you're just moving forward. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> but the nine of swords in reverse is you coming out of a time of feeling depressed or, or anxious or worried. I feel like it's easing. Yeah, there's communication that could be coming in or something's going to take off positively that's going to take you out of this nine of swords. You know, you're going to feel better. Yeah, what's this world? Yeah, nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're single, you're abundant, you're growing, your business is growing. I feel like you're stepping into a more financially stable time in your life as well. Yeah, it's just like you're flourishing. You're very much so independent. You're not dependent at all. You don't need nobody for shit, but you might want things, but you don't need anybody. You know how to take care of yourself because God put you in that position to do so. Yeah, some of you guys could even be retiring early. You could be closing out a cycle where it's a cycle of poverty. Okay, like, you know, things from your childhood that you've seen or you grew up with seeing, you know what I'm saying? When it comes down to your parents and shit like that, you're breaking those cycles. It's like a generational curse being broken here. You could be meeting somebody, Libra, that is going to help you out here. Yeah, some of you guys are breaking up with somebody that married your ass for money or something like that is going on in your life with someone else. But definitely, you could be meeting somebody that's, that's single. They're abundant. They're growing. They're very beautiful. This person is going to become your whole world type of thing. They're going to become somebody that really, ooh, ten of swords a devil, that you really fuck with type thing. But I feel like this is you choosing yourself, mainly. You're choosing yourself. You're choosing to move forward. Yeah, you've broken up with this person. <laughs> You guys could be saying 999 or 99 as well. Nines could be significant. Yeah, you're, you're becoming very abundant, whoever you are. So what's this caught up for Libra? What's this caught up card? Yeah, the full Aquarius, Aries energy, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Swords. So, yeah, somebody is trying so hard to manipulate you. I feel like you're taking up for yourself. You're defending yourself. You're standing up for what's right. You're not going to let nobody bully you or assault you or make you feel like you don't know what the fuck is going on because you see this person for who they are. This person does a lot of shit on purpose, too. They're, they like to play mind games with you and, and control your mind. So they're like a narcissist, a gaslighter type of person. Somebody's like... I don't know. This person, they're trying to cause conflict here or they have caused conflict or whatever. And I feel like you've been handling this shit very gracefully, very peacefully. I feel like you're standing up for yourself. The Queen of Cups with the Fool. But that's why I say you're handling this gracefully because this could be you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This could be you, Libra. Or for some of you, this is a feminine energy. This could be your baby mother or your own mother that's sabotaging new opportunities for you. This person, they have their own demons that they're fighting and they're projecting that shit onto you in your life. Okay, that could be for somebody. You know, but the the Queen of Cups here, we're going to clarify who the Queen of Cups is because that's the first person that even came out, really. So um, I feel like Spirit is just telling you to stand up for yourself. Don't play tit for tat. Don't fight back or whatever the fuck. Just stand up for yourself and defend yourself and move forward gracefully, respectfully. You know, because the Queen of Cups is somebody that's a psychic. They're very intuitive. They're very empathetic and very kind. Okay, very loyal and very um, a very valuable person to have around. But we're going to see who it is because, I mean, it could be some weird shit going on with that person, whoever it is. But with the fool, this is you breaking free. This is a new beginning that's coming into your life where spirit is giving you the confidence to break free from something. You could be seeing that this person is just childish. They're very immature. I'm hearing something about neglect. So somebody here could be could have neglected you as a child or... This is your baby mom or baby daddy that's neglected a child, okay, to go fuck off and go be with other people and shit like that. Like, somebody has a really bad problem here. So, I'm, I feel like you're aware you know that. So, okay, who's this Queen of Cups? Who 
What is this Queen of Cups? Three of Cups. So a celebratory time being celebrated. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Hmm, let me see. Who's this Queen of Cups with this Three of Cups? Okay, the Empress. So, okay. So some of you guys, this is Taurus Libra energy. This is this could be you or you could be meeting an Empress here. A divine feminine, a divine counterpart. Somebody that's going to bring you happiness here. Somebody that's, So this could be you meeting somebody new. Just period. The moon, yeah, the five of wands. There's like fights and arguments going on though. There's like conflict. Somebody trying to sabotage something. Fucking, but this is you um, growing. You've matured. You're divine feminine now or you're divine masculine, you know, either or. Uh, I feel like you're being celebrated. Some of you guys are meeting your soul tribe. You're meeting people that you resonate with. I feel like you're going to meet somebody that you can actually have fun with. This person is not going to be um, malicious towards you or do this shit that somebody else did to you in the past or whatever the fuck. But definitely something about your mother. This person could party a lot. They could drink a lot. They could like do a lot of that. This is somebody that's more of like a, I mean, I feel like as a parent, I'm going to be my child's friend as well, but I feel like they're more so very friendly towards you than they, than disciplining is because of the drug usage or something like that. This could be your child's mother or child's father. That's just like this that I'm describing, but um, let me see. What's this three of cups? What's this three of cups right here? So yeah five of wands keeps wanting to pop out so there's like there's argument and shit going on here in the midst of a good time it's like it's like you're having a good time with somebody or you you're you're meeting somebody that's on your level but then there's fights and arguing and shit going on in the background it's like people trying to get in your way or stop you from doing something or being with somebody or something like that there's like friends and people that you party with or drink with or smoke with or whatever the fuck it's like they, they're jealous or they're in competition with you with this empress you're the empress libra whether you're a man or woman, you're an empress, you have that divine energy. You're very confident, you're beautiful, or you're handsome. You have a lot of shit going for yourself. You're, you're a psychic. You're very intuitive. You do what you have to do. You're a healer of some sort. Like, you're one of the chosen ones here. You could even be an earth angel. But it's like people are... I don't know what the fuck people problem is, man. Hmm. What's this? What's this five of swords? Yeah, so there's like two queens here. So there's like, well, the empress is the queen of all queens um, in the tarot deck, but the queen of cups and the empress. Are, so this person, this queen of cups could have been in competition with you or something like that with this other, like um, with someone here. Maybe it could be you, Libra, or there, there's somebody here in competition. They're going up against the empress when it comes down to maybe another person. So that, that I'm definitely feeling third party. It's like people are in competition with you as the empress or something like that. Somebody here puts you in a third party. They married somebody else and this person was in competition with you the whole time. What's this five of swords? Five of wands, five of swords. You guys can be seeing five, five, five. Yeah, now five of pentacles, definitely five, five, five. So... Yeah, it's like it's like you're leaving somebody's ass out in the cold or that somebody feels abandoned or left out. So now they're going to try to sabotage you and they're the ones that got caught cheating. It's like, are you delusional or are you fucking stupid or are you both? <laughs> like somebody is like really tripping because they ass have been exposed. Yeah, the sun, the chariot, the death card, the will of fortune. Yeah, something is karmic and, and karma is here. Definitely with these major arcana, something is ending. You're transitioning, you're transforming, you're moving away from whatever this is. You have a big destiny and big shoes to fill in this lifetime for spirit. You don't have time to deal with this person. They ain't got shit going on. This person is broke. They're money hungry and they're desperate. Just period. I'm hearing something about a bum. So somebody here is like a freaky ass bum. They want to lay up and have sex and do whatever the fuck they want to do. But it's, then it's like when it's time to actually get to work and grind they're lazy they don't want to do shit they do their drugs or they they have sex with you and then they go off and go do whatever the fuck else it's like this person i feel like you're tired of dealing with this person or you know how this person is and you're tired of just dealing with them period whether they're somebody that married you for money or they're your family or whoever it's just over with i feel like you're going into a celebratory time some of you guys could be reconciling with someone here that you want to be with okay but i feel like there there's there's somebody here that's celebrated or maybe even seen in the public eye or have a lot of people around them that support them or I don't know, a lot of the support of friends. You could be meeting people, like I said, in your soul tribe and people are trying to stop you from growing or maturing or whatever, you know, but what's rejected? Mm. 
Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Sun. <clears throat> Let me clarify these knights to see who they are and to see what's what. But you could be dealing with a Leo. So definitely, I feel like you're choosing your happiness. You're choosing to heal. You're choosing to grow. You're choosing the side of, of victory and success. I feel like that's what's coming towards you here. I feel like there's slow movement. Definitely with the cars being like this. I feel like something is being illuminated that was causing you stagnancy. But then something's going to pick up speed because we went from the Knight of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. That's actual movement. You see how the Knight of Pentacles is, is standing still. This horse is like not moving. But then the Knight of Cups card, on the Knight of Cups card, their horse is like actually making moves now. They're actually moving at a, at a certain speed because the Knight of Pentacles moves slow as hell. They move, but it's just slow as fuck. So I feel like there's something slowly coming into your life here after you reject something. I feel like you're just choosing yourself, though. Something has been exposed, and you're being illuminated about a lot that's around you, and you're, you're choosing your happiness. You're choosing to heal your inner child and do things that bring joy back into your life, especially with the fool being here. It's like you're trying to enjoy yourself. Yeah, you have you have a, a legacy to, to build upon for your kids. Yeah, it's destined, too. Something about your money. Will of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So definitely, this is you building a life for yourself. Wealth, prosperity, abundance is coming in. There could be something that you're working on, Libra, that's definitely going to, is destined for you to have. You're destined to live this life of luxury. You're destined to be, that's that Libra energy. That's Venezuelan energy. So that's, that's definitely you. You're destined for greatness. There's good luck, good fortune, blessings coming in. There's all type of shit coming in for you, Libra. As long as you stay focused, keep yourself, you know, humble and just, you know, work hard there could be a new job coming in or for some of you this is the start of your own business because i feel like when you get to the ten of pentacles this is like you are a leader you're a boss you have your own shit going on you're not going to be conforming to nobody's job or whatever the fuck this is you being an entrepreneur and, and doing something maybe that's um it's the work of god you're doing something so that's why i say you could be a star seed or earth angel or something like that but it's something is destined for you to have you're destined to have this great life Okay, I feel like things are balancing back out in your life, too, with the Six of Pentacles. There's equal give and take. Okay, reciprocity. For some of you, you're going into a marriage where you're going to really love it here. You're going to be very wealthy. And I feel like, you know, your work is going to come pretty easy to you because this is something that you're meant to do. You're going to be passionate about it. But a lot of money coming in. Definitely a big, big windfall of money that could be coming in. Or this is a start of a, um, a partnership where... It's going to be very prosperous. You and this person are going to prosper together and build a legacy, build a family, and things like that. It's meant for you to have. Just period. So what is this Knight of Pentacles? Let's see. What's the Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles talks about um, hmm, the Justice, Three of Swords. Definitely strong Libra here. That's you, but you could be dealing with another Libra. So yeah, there's new love coming into your life. That's your justice here. That's your good karma. Whatever this new love coming in, or this is just self-love. You pouring into yourself, you healing yourself and moving forward. But definitely new love coming in. I feel like it's been coming in really slow. Your love life has been stagnant with this Knight of Pentacles. Like something hasn't been moving, but it's because you had to reject somebody or keep, get somebody out of your life or you're having to. So if things are moving slow with you and somebody, it's because there's work to be done. You have to let people go. But I do feel like balance is coming in. There's karmic justice here. There's things being restored here. And whatever somebody's trying to do to you, you're going to have justice over it. You're going to prevail over that. Yeah, this is this is somebody, this is you taking accountability for your part that you play in a lot of fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Three of swords. Yeah, a lot of people are getting left behind. A lot of people are getting left behind here, just period. Wow, queen of pentacles, ace of swords, ace of wands. Yeah. So you could be meeting somebody new, Libra, that is going to... This This is somebody that's very financially well off, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But the Queen of Pentacles, this is somebody that's going to be very loyal to you. They're very sincere, very genuine, honest, okay? Very dependable, very reliable as well. They're very stable. They're good for business. So this could be a partnership coming in where it's going to be very a very passionate partnership, a very truthful and honest one with the Ace of Swords poking up. This is victory and success, this is authenticity as well. So somebody being, being very real with you, very honest and blunt in their communication. Okay, but it's definitely, um, this is somebody that's going to help you with your creative pursuits, creative endeavors type thing. Yeah. So that looks nice. 
Yeah, some of you guys are, are getting ready to um, get ready to prepare for a family type thing where there's going to be a pregnancy. It's going to be a lot of nice shit happening for you, really. What's this Knight of Cups? Like, it's your, it's your time. What's this Knight of Cups? Okay, yeah, six of wands. So yeah, romantic proposal, an offer coming in of new love. Some of you guys could be gaining a lot of attention. Okay, but definitely something is going to be victorious. It's going to make you happy. There's an offer coming in. This could be you um, being very intuitive at this time and starting this business because the Knight of Cups talks about... Um, when it's in reverse, I could talk about creative blockage, but I feel like when it's upright, you're very intuitive right now. You're very fertile with new ideas. You could be an artist of some sort, okay? You could be some type of artist, but I feel like your work is going to gain a lot of recognition and rewards, okay? I feel like there's a lot of supporters around you, or there's going to be a lot of people that admire you here, or you're dealing with somebody that's like this. They're in the public eye or whatever, but something is going to be very victorious, this date or this proposal or this offer or whatever. For some of you, this is an, an apology coming in that you're going to reject and go towards new. For others of you, this is a new person that could be coming in. They could be younger than you. They want to date you or it could be vice versa. You could be younger than them type of thing, Libra. But something is going to be victorious because it's meant to happen. Just period. So, yeah, the Queen of Swords is a star. Some of you guys are definitely seen in the public eye. You could be public speakers here. But I feel like this is you choosing your healing journey. This is you choosing yourself. You could have Aquarius in your chart. Somebody here could be an Aquarius. But definitely setting boundaries, being real. I feel like somebody definitely does speak out, though. The Queen of Swords always give me a public speaker. Some of you guys are just healing from a divorce as well. But you're very creative. You're very spiritual, too. Yeah. So that's nice. What's this Three of Swords about? Yeah, the Hermit. Yeah, so deep shadow work, healing. Yeah, so um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with Virgo in their chart. But this is you healing. Yeah, going through a transformation. Or this is somebody else that you're dealing with going through this. You know, flip it, switch it. But whatever this is, you've done the work or you're doing the work here. You're rejecting people that are not going with you on this path. Just period. They can't take accountability for their actions. Or if they can't apologize or make things right and fair. It's like, okay, I'm just going to leave your ass behind. Because clearly you're not growing up or you don't want to grow up. And I do. So I'm moving forward. But definitely with the Hermit, this is deep shadow work being done. A lot of introspection, soul searching, trying to find what you want here. And 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 I feel like um, this is you maturing, wisening up. So a lot of things that hurt you in your past have really, really made you who you are today. So I feel like you, you're, it's definitely your time to shine. It's definitely your time to um, date somebody that really fucks with you, that really loves you, that really cares about you type thing. And I feel like Spirit is bringing that in after this transformation or whatever. Or some of you guys, timing is fluid. So some of you guys have already gone through this here. And this is just confirming things for you. For others of you, this is what's happening for you in the near future. Or if you're going through it right now, you can feel what I'm talking about right now, intuitively or in, uh, internally. But, yeah, so that's nice. That's nice, Libra. <laughs> what's the sun? Let me see what the sun is. What is being exposed or what's this enlightenment about? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Wow. See what I'm saying? Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. All four aces are on the board. So definitely new beginnings. It's time for you to shine, Libra. I'm telling you. Rejection is God's protection. So something, yeah, with the Temperance and the Two of Cups. Yeah, there's a healing relationship coming in. This is divinely guided and it's protected. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius or somebody has Sag in their chart. But there's a relationship that's coming in. You have the Seven of Wands. It's protected. Can nobody confuse you or whatever the fuck somebody's trying to do? It's not going to work. Ace of Wands with the Ace of Swords. This is you becoming clear, okay, and gaining clarity, being authentic, being real, gaining success and victory over whatever this is. Three cards of success and victory here, you know? Your creative pursuits are going to pick up here. Some of you guys could be traveling a lot or you're getting ready to travel. You're going to do things that really bring you happiness. This is something that you're passionate about. Yeah, so if you were rejected by somebody or somebody is not, if it's not them rejecting you, it's like somebody not getting their shit together, because they don't see value in you or the relationship, it's just time to let it go. Whether it be mama, daddy, baby daddy, baby mother, sister, brother, whoever the fuck, it's just time for them to go. To You have to walk away in order to gain the success and victory, just period. So, yeah, I feel like there's going to be a burst of energy, a burst of energetic or creative spark here, like a burst of passion or inspiration that's coming into your life here. It could be this new relationship or whatever this is, you're going to feel it, just period. 
Yeah. So what's this? What's this no facts card? <clears throat> King of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Chariot. So um, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Could be here. You could have this somewhere in your chart, highly aspected or something like that. So I feel like this is you moving forward here with the chariot, or this is somebody else. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's very stable. They know how to handle their shit. Somebody's a really good business owner or, or something like that. But somebody here could be spreading lies or making shit up about you or doing whatever the fuck to kind of hem you up or hold you back. But I feel like this is you making sacrifices and releasing things that are no longer serving you. And I feel like it's putting you in a more stable position with the King of Pentacles. Some of you guys are beginning a new car, but you're definitely moving forward. You're not letting nobody, nobody's judgment or their lies or whatever stop you from, from moving forward. This is you triumphing over whatever this hate is here in this spread with this person or whoever these people are. This is you gaining a different perspective about something as well. So if things are stagnant, it's stuck. I feel like you're going to realize that people are just around here to hold you back. They're just holding you back. They don't have anything to bring to the table or nothing to offer. And I feel like this is you being the hero in your own story, Libra. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, the Temperance. Yeah, you're standing up for yourself. You're being you're being victorious. This is you being honest with these swords up, being truthful about who you are as a person, leading with integrity. Okay, actually strategizing before you take action. You're being guided to do something here. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This could be about a start of a family here. The start, the start of your emotional fulfillment, your happiness. So... I feel like somebody here is a very loyal person, very honorable person, very respectable person with the King of Pentacles. But let's see, who is this King of Pentacles? Let's see who it is. And then we're going to move on. Yeah, the Hierophant. Yeah, <laughs> a leader, a spiritual leader. Yeah, the moon with the Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups. Some of you guys here could be a bit guarded. There's a relationship that's coming in. For some of you, you're spiritual gurus. You're a leader or you do something in a spiritual community or you're meeting somebody that's in that tribe with you and they're going to they're gonna bring about a lot of uh, spiritual growth within you is what I feel because there's somebody here that's already like this. They're a divine feminine, this empress with the queen of cups. There's somebody that's here that's going to help you grow spiritually. And I feel like it's going to put you into your... Um, it's going to help you grow and elevate spiritually as well, mentally, emotionally, all that. But the Hierophant is um, somebody that's a teacher, a leader, somebody that gives really good advice, um, a counselor, a therapist, possibly just like the Hermit. But somebody wants something traditional here. I feel like somebody is very loyal, and that's what somebody doesn't like about you, that you're very loyal. You, you really don't do no wrong. I mean, nobody's perfect, but you do the right thing. You lead with integrity. Your values are intact. Your morals are intact with the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus. So yeah, this is this is somebody that you're meeting here. There could be some fear around a relationship though. There, there's like fear or, or there's like a slight blockage here or something like that. Or you're being protected from whatever is trying to ruin the relationship. Put it that way. With the moon, you could be dealing with the cancer, seven of wands. It's like, I don't know. That was at the bottom of the deck. But let's see, what's the, what's the hangman? Yeah, the high priestess. Wow, see what I'm saying? The high priestess, the hierophant, that, that's you and your counterpart. Yeah, the four of wands, the damn lovers, the emperor, the king of cups. So you could be, some of you guys could be reconciling with your twin flame, or this could be you and a soul, a deep soulmate connection where you're the high priestess and they're the hierophant, or it could be switched. But definitely counterpart. Somebody here is your equal. This, this is going to feel really good with you and this person. I feel like also... Whatever somebody's trying to do to sabotage this new beginning or this happiness that's coming in for you, Libra, because you do have all four aces on the board, <clears throat> you're gonna realize that somebody's a high priestess. They they see intuitively. So there's like so I'm getting I'm picking up there's a masculine here that's like a leader. They're the provider, they're the protector, they're the, they're the hierophant. Then there's somebody here that's the empress, there's that's the high, the high priestess and the hangman. This this person here can see through the bullshit they can see through anything i feel like you can too libra but there's like a if libra if you're the masculine energy you are a masculine sign this could be a man an actual man that's like the hierophant they are you know doing more things in a 3d than the 5d and then you're matching up with somebody that's doing something in the 5d 
and in a three so i feel like it's equal it's equal but i feel like the masculine does is like the hierophant and the woman is like the high priestess that's like what i've always believed and the counterparts they come together to combine that that um that spiritual stuff together you know like that's what i'm picking up with you and somebody but definitely counterparts here somebody's going to be very generous to you very kind very very nice person very giving this person loves with everything in them type thing but with the hangman, this is you releasing and letting go of something. Or somebody's going to shift how you think, shift your perspective. This high priestess. Whatever is hidden around you or whatever is, is, is being um, hidden, I feel like somebody's going to expose it. So you're around somebody where their energy is so strong, they expose people's dark shit. They expose the dark bullshit that's around you or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that's that's the type of energy I'm getting with that. Yeah, so that's 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 nice. But I feel like you're going to see something. If somebody's hiding something from you, I feel like you're going to see it. Just plain and simple as that. So let's see. Let's pull the Haters Exposed. Let's pull from the Haters Exposed deck and see what comes out. But definitely counterparts here. I did see the Four of Wands and the goddamn... Um, I feel like you're getting ready to build a life with someone here. You and this person are going to be famous or you're going to be on stage or you're going to be doing something that's going to, I don't know, bring about a lot of stability, a lot of comfort, a lot of happiness, and you're going to have a lot of supporters. And the people that don't support you, well, they just want to be looking dumb as hell, like always. I mean, there's nothing you can really do about that. So let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have haters are lying about you. Yeah, there's like gossip or something. And somebody here, this person is going to overlook all of that. It's like people around. This person doesn't get swayed by other people's judgment. So you could have been dealing with somebody in the past that got swayed by gossip and shit like that. Now you're meeting somebody that's not going to be swayed by other people's bullshit. Whatever they're trying to do to break you two up, it's not going to happen. Okay, just period. This union is going to be protected. So what is what is um what else for Libra? We have an ex is the one sending negative energy towards you so yeah boom there's the there's the problem there okay then we have claiming credit over your success yeah so an ex is significant here definitely an ex doing some bullshit then we have they can't understand your level of knowledge so yeah somebody here whoever this ex is i feel like that's where the problem is somebody's ex is trying to get in the way or break you two apart or whatever the fuck it's not going to work and they're mad because they're being rejected or for some of you it's not just an ex it's family members it's friends it's all type of sh all type of people what else we have low-key in love with you so yeah so there could be an ex here that's low-key in love with you or your person libra there's like somebody that really wants your person back or wants you back and it's like you don't want their ass just period so now they're mad they're doing a whole bunch of other shit you know, so they low-key feed off of your confidence. Yeah, it says you will continue to thrive on these haters. Okay, period. They'll try and boss you around to make themselves feel superior. So somebody's very controlling, very narcissistic. Just period. It says your spirit team is taking care of it. So really, you don't have to do anything. You're Somebody's the higher fence. Somebody else is the high priestess. Your counterparts, you have a little bit of both in each of you. So when you guys combine that together, you're a very powerful couple. Can't nobody break this up because it's meant to be anyway. So it says they got scammed trying to do spiritual work on you. <laughs> so, okay. Told you somebody was trying to do something in the background or whatever the fuck. It says toxic mentality. They manifest dark and negative shit. So somebody here is doing like spell work. That's how you do spell work. You can manifest it through your mind, your, your mouth, which is spell work. That's actual spells being spoken or rituals or whatever. Somebody's doing some bullshit though. It says tapping into your energy is their addiction. Someone is doing white magic on you to help and protect you. So Taurus had this. You could be dealing with the Taurus as well. Libra. That's that Taurus Libra energy. That's Venezuelan energy. Okay. So you could be dealing with another Venezuelan. Trust no one. Yeah. So you just, I feel like you're seeing that you really can't trust anyone that's around you. It's time for you to meet new people and, and, and whatever, you know. But it says spending their money on spell work that never works. So... <laughs> that came out twice somebody here is like trying to do spell work on you're trying to get somebody to do it and it's not working because you're protected so
Give me a second, Libra. All right, what else? What else for Libra Spirit? Let's see. The bottom of the deck is cheating. It was one. It was a one-time mistake and now feeling regretful. So somebody here, like I said, somebody could have put you in a third party and they got with somebody that's a goddamn cheater. They're a loser. And now you're moving on to somebody else. Okay. Somebody's saying it was one time, but I don't even believe that my damn self. We have intuition. Listen to your intuition. What you feel to be true is true. Taurus had that again. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Motel says cheating, <laughs> the professional, engaging with a prostitute or a stripper or some form of professional arrangement. Okay, I don't like when people say strippers because not all strippers are like that. Just because you're a stripper or just because you do or you dress sexy or you wear less clothes or whatever doesn't mean that you're a goddamn prostitute. And I feel like that's what somebody misjudged you at. They fucking, I don't know, they listened to somebody that was doing drugs or whatever the fuck. And that's why they ass got caught up with the, the actual prostitute, somebody that's actually doing whatever the fuck they do and it's like it's no judgment you do what you do but don't try to make somebody else look bad because you don't like what you're doing change your life bitch <laughs> that like dead ass like i don't like people like that or somebody here somebody's unhappy with the relationship that they choose and now you're going to be with your counterpart or your soulmate somebody that's going to really bring about happiness and they're stuck with these prostitutes or people that don't really give a fuck about them when you did and they fucking sabotaged it so we have lies, lies, lies to impress. They are embellishing parts of their life to impress you. Hmm. This person wears a mask. Yeah, then we have secrets hidden in the closet. Some very serious addiction to prostitutes, gambling, or expensive habits. There's something else about prostitutes. Sagittarius had that. Definitely go watch Sagittarius reading. Then we have bad motives, backstabbing. Careful who you trust. They're up to no good. Then we have lies, lies, lies again. Money matters. Pretending to have less or more than they really do. So I feel like it's they have they're, they're, they're pretending to have more than they really do. Somebody around you. This could be this ex. <laughs> this could be this ex. Or they could be pretending like they have less. So that way you can give them more. And they can go spend your money. And do whatever the fuck else they want to do with your shit. So it could be both ways. We have lies, lies, lies. Again, pathological liar. <laughs> they lie to you on a regular basis. It's best to let them go. Then we have bad traits. Power hungry. They abuse their power to control the vulnerable bottom of the deck is manipulation they play dumb or pretend they don't understand what you want from them <laughs> so there's that so let's do um let's pull from this deck to see what signs could be significant this helps with people that i guess know their person's chart or know the charts of the people that are involved here it helps when you know your chart your sun moon rising venus mercury jupiter um moon sign um uh fucking neptune uranus or whatever all your signs it helps to know so let's see what's what signs are relevant here for libra <clears throat> so we have mars and gemini so somebody's mars sign could be in gemini let's see what else So we have Mars and Gemini, Mars and Capricorn, Venus and Aries, North Node and Pisces, Venus and Libra, Venus and Gemini, Mercury and Libra. Oh shit. Mercury and Aries, Mars and Cancer, Moon and Aquarius, North Node and Aries, Jupiter and Virgo, North Node and Taurus, Sun and Aquarius, Moon and Libra. Mercury and Pisces, North Node and Capricorn, Mars and Leo, Sun and Taurus, Moon and Capricorn, Mercury and Cancer, North Node and Sagittarius, Sun and Capricorn, and then we have Venus and Cancer. Bottom of the deck is the last one, Jupiter and Taurus. So these signs could be significant for you, Libra. You could be dealing with people that have these signs in their chart, or this, these could be signs that are in your chart, and you all this chart, so... Yeah, so hopefully that gave you some type of clarity. This was your reading, Libra. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on to all. Thank you guys again for being patient with me. I really, really appreciate your patience. 
and your loyalty to my channel. Um, definitely turn your notification bell on so that way you guys can get my readings for when I post for you guys. You, won't, you guys won't miss the upload if you turn your notification bell on and press the all button. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.